Hello. Today we discuss the concept of picture navigation and its shortcut. Before discussing that concept, first we are two basics. The one is if you have a mixture given, like if you have a mixture one or solution one which has nothing but milk and water. Fine. In the ratio of two is to three. And another mixture, all the solution which has milk and water in the ratio of take 3 is to 4. We take 5 liter of mixture 1 mixed with 7 liter of mixture 2. Then what would be the concentration of the new mixture? Okay, I hope it is clear to you. I am repeating the question. 5 liter of solution 1 which has milk and water in the ratio of 2 is to 3 mixed with 7 liter of another solution in which the ratio of milk and water is 3 to 4 then what would be the milk and water ratio in the real picture? We can make or solve it by star method ok old and new than finding the ratio but I am going to use a different method or its method is the same but application is a different ok check what is the total weight here here 2 plus 3 is 5 here 3 plus 7 4 is 7 so we first calculate the weight and the weight is cross multiplied so 2 plus 3 is 5 should be here 3 plus 4 7 should be here we just cross multiply the weight after that what is the total requirement of the mixture 1 is the 5 liter so we multiply the 5 the requirement of the mixture 2 is or the volume of the mixture 2 is 7 liters so we multiply it 7 ok just two easy step total weight should be multiplied here total weight should be multiplied here means weight is alternate weight is concentration weight and the volume required or the volume taken is multiplied with the respective solutions ok so we multiply 7 into 5 and 5 is to 7 make it ratio in ratio we can cancel out 7 and 7 and 5 and 7, 5 so we didn't multiply anything if we have multiplied anything we multiply this to that that is nothing than summation of these two is what 5 is to 7 is my answer ok hope it is clear to you I am solving this question with a different data to let you clear everything Now take a new question, 3 litre of a solution which has milk and water in the ratio of 3 to 4 mixed with another solution of volume 7 litre having the ratio 2 to 9, then what would be the milk and water ratio in the resultant picture? Take it, the summation of 3 and 4 is 7, so we multiply 7 in the alternate mixture, the volume of or the total of 2 and 9 is 11, so we multiply 11 in the another solution. What is the total volume of the first solution is 3 liter, so multiply 3. Total volume of the next one is 7, so multiply 7. And solve the question. So we have milk and water final one. This is 33. This is 49. No cancel out. 33 into 3 is nothing but 99. 33 into 4 is 132. Right? 49 and 2 is 98 and 49 and 9 is 98 4 4 1 so first weight cross multiply required volume should be multiplied than multiplication and the addition it's nothing but 132 and 4 4 1 is 3 7 5 and 98 and 99 is 7 197. So this is my answer of what? 197 is to 5793 is the ratio of milk is to water in the resulting picture. Fine. Okay. So this is the one question which is mostly asked in the moment management in the test as well as the government law SSC. I am resulting. We will use this concept in our next concept. Okay. We have a 10 liter of milk, pure milk container. Another one is 10 liter of pure water container. Having 10 liter milk and a 10 liter water. Means equal volume in the both. 
this is a pure milk and a pure water. The operation is what if we move 5 liter from the milk one to water, the next step is from the water to milk or the solution to milk 5 liter. So this is my one process. First one is the volume should be equal. The volume taken from the first to pour into second and the, from the second to first should also be equal. If this is the case, then the, if milk and water ratio in the first half of this process is when A is to B, then the milk is to water ratio should be just reverse B is to A. Even if we repeat this process, means one from first to second and second to one is a one process, if we repeat process any number of times, if the ratio of milk and water in the first container is A to B, that would be B to A in the second one. So we are using this concept and the previous one solving a new question. We have 20 liter milk fine, and 20 liter water. First question is if we take out 4 liter of milk from first to second and pour it into second and the solution from the first second to first is a 4 liter, then after this first process, what would be the ratio? Now we only solve the container 2 and get a value of container 1. If we pour 4 liter from the milk to water, then in this first process we have 4 liter of milk and 20 liter of water. What is the ratio of milk is to water here? Is the 1 is to 5. And when we pour 4 liter of solution from the second to first, the we are completing one process. Here, the ratio is milk is to water is 1 is to 5. So here the milk is to water should be 5 is to 1. It is fine. Okay. Now, if we repeat the same process again, 4 liter and a 4 liter, we again solve only for this and reverse the value for this one. For the next 4 liter, what we are going to do? We are just doing 4 liter of first one with the milk and water in the ratio of 5 is to 1. The 4 liter is going with the another solution having the sorry 5 is to 1. Mixing with second container which has 1 is to 5 ratio and the total volume of the second container is 4 is to 20. First solution in this process. 4 liter of this solution mixing with the 20 liter of this solution, the ratio is 5 is to 1 and the ratio is 1 is to 5 from the previous concept. Can you see the summation is what? 6 multiply 6. Summation is what? 1 is to 5 means 6 multiply 6. Total volume is 4 liter, total volume is 20 liter. Now simplify 6, 6, 4 is to 5. So there is nothing left but 1 here, the 5 left. So cancel 5 is to 2. 1 is 5, 5, 5, 25. Total addition is what? 10 is to 26, which is nothing but 5 is to 30. We found 5 is to 30 is the ratio of milk is to water in the second container. So, that of in the first container should be 30 is to 5 after the second process. So, this is the way we solve the question. First, Concept is we are using the concept number one. Second concept is mixtures and water should be just reverse. So I am generating a common formula for this type of question. Realizing the concept, if we have a liter of milk and the another one is a liter of water, both have a liter, a liter. We are the first process is. B liter taken out from the one and the pour into second. The next process is from the second to first, but the volume is the B liter. From the first process, this is the first process of the first step. In the second container, the milk is to water is what we poured out. The milk is B, water is A. And in this, by the same concept, the milk is to water is A is to B. Hope it is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can ping me on Facebook or revive the video. This is why 
and first process concentration A should be. Now second process concentration, we are taking out again a V liter and pour it into second and a V liter from the second to one. For the second process, I am writing it from the first container, we are taking the V liter. First container has nothing but A is to B. Mixing with the second container of water again A liter, concentration of B is to A. Okay. Now the concept number one, the volume is A plus B total. Total the volume of the concentration is A plus B. We are mixing nothing but B. For this, we are mixing A. Simplifying the value, removing A plus B, adding this B, if we multiply, this is nothing but A B, A into B, this one is B square. For this, we have A B and for this A square. Adding both, we have nothing but 2 A B and A square plus B square. So this is our general formula if we repeat the process two times. Here the milk is to water is 2 A B is to A square plus B square. Here the reverse should be milk and water should be A square plus B square is to 2 A B. I hope the whole process is clear.